Hello everyone, Daughter of Inyanga here, Auntie Tavi here. Hope everybody had a really good week. I know the energy has been super intense from the eclipse energy as we know. Um, the eclipse in general always catapults and kind of slingshots us into what it is that we need. Um, so that will trudge up things that need to let go. There's been a lot, sorry I got something on my face. Um, there's been a lot of like energy upgrades, downloads, activations. I have been absolutely exhausted. So if you've been feeling like that, you are not alone. I have some messages from Spirit today. And I've had this one in the chamber for a while. And um, Spirit will always give me different messages and I'll just write them down. And then I'll tell them, hey, let me know when it's right to say something, right? So this <clears throat> message was prompted by the song Fortress Around Your Heart by Sting. As you know, if you've been here before, said it before I'll say it again spirit speaks to me through movies as well as tv shows and song lyrics um and so this message is about holding on to trauma or thinking that you're okay and then your trauma or issues kind of slap you in the face so I'm going to read the lyrics and then the messages are going to go so <clears throat> I'm going to start in part way into the song. So he says, we walk through the streets in the city in the afternoon. And as I returned across the field, I'd known, I recognized, re recognized the walls that I once laid. I had to stop in my tracks for fear of walking on the mines I laid. And if I built this fortress around your heart and circled you in trenches and barbed wire, then let me build a bridge for I cannot fill this chasm and let me set the battlements on fire. And then it goes on to say, and then I went off to fight some battle that I'd invented inside my head, away so long for years and years, you probably thought or even wished that I was dead. While the armies are all sleeping beneath the tattered flag we'd made, I had to stop in my tracks for fear of walking on the mines I laid. So basically the story is, he's like, he's cool. He's going through the city, everything's good. And then all of a sudden, He's like, wait, this is the fortress that I built. This is, these are the walls that I made. I laid mines here. So if somebody doesn't know what a mine is, basically it is an explosive that gets detonated once you step on it. So um, if you have any, if you've seen any um, movies about the wars in Vietnam and somebody steps on something and then they blow up, that's what a mine is. So basically he's looking down and he's like, shit. I put mines here, but now I can't walk. I can't get in. Um, so basically, and then he says, you know, he invented this battle or this stress, these things that he wasn't willing to deal with. Now he's coming back. He's good or he thinks he's good. And then he realizes, wow, I built this entire fortress. I built these battlements. Um, and then he's saying he encircled it in trenches. So trenches are like holes. Um, Doug, if you've seen a war movie, you know what a trench is. It's like basically where they sit and hunker down and then they can look up. So he says, not only did he build a fortress, which is like a castle, um, think Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. Um, he's encircled it in trenches and barbed wires. And he now has to build a bridge because the trenches are so deep and so long that he can't go up and then down. He has to cross it. So basically the message that Spirit was saying is that sometimes we can create these things in order to, to protect ourselves, right? Uh, whether that's our inner wounded child, what's, whether that's our adult self, whether that's our higher self, whether that's our shadow, whatever it is, sometimes we create these fortresses and we create these trenches and this barbed wire and we lay mines so that others can't get in or even ourselves. And we pack on our trauma so heavy and so deep that we think we're good and then bam, something will come and slap us across the face. I've spoken to a lot of people, especially this week with eclipse, this eclipse energy. And they're just like, I'm fucking going through it. All this shit is being brought up because that's what, not only was it a full moon, it was a super full moon and it was eclipse. So you basically can't hide those things anymore. You have to do that work. You have to go deep in. You have to do the shadow work. You have to acknowledge this trauma and now he's like, okay, I can't, 
I can't get to where I want to go because I've set up all these minds that I can't heal myself. Also, what Spirit was also saying to me is a lot of people are going through it, but some people are refusing to heal. And I'm going to give you an example. We're going to pretend this is a towel. This is We're going to pretend this is like a backpack. This is your trauma here, okay? Sorry, this is going to irritate me. OCD Capricorn here. So this is your trauma, right? You're carrying on to it. You're holding it and you're doing this. I don't, I don't want to let it go. No. No, thank you. Even though it's completely blocking your heart chakra, it's blocking love from getting in, whether that's from yourself, somebody else, friends, family, whoever. And you're like, nope, mm -mm. I'm, I'm okay. No, thank you. I'm good. No, thanks. The problem with that is when you hold on, like you're holding on to things that need to let go. Also with that, sometimes we don't know who we are without this trauma. And then what happens in the song is you build all this up and you're like, okay, no, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm doing, I'm doing good. Oh, mm -hmm, no, I'm fine. And then you come to it and you're like, holy shit. So let go of that backpack of trauma. Release it. Let it go. And guess what? You can figure out who you are without the trauma. Because I was like that for a while until I started my spiritual journey. And I was like, I don't want to stay like this. I don't know what I need this shit for. I don't need it. Thank you. I mean, it helped me get to where I am today. And it helped me be who I am and who I need to be. But I don't need it. I don't need this fortress in the sense of I don't need mines laid around. I don't need trenches. I don't need chasms. I don't need to build a bridge. I need to let the trauma go. So that's the message from spirit is it's okay to not know who you are without the trauma. And it's okay to not know how to get from point A to point B. But that's what our soul tribe is for. That's what our soul family is for. That's what our spirit guide, our spirit team, our gods, our goddesses, ancestors, spirit guides. That's what they're there for. So let go of your backpack full of trauma, even if you're scared to do so, so that you can release those minds. Because there's a way to do it. It's difficult but you can, what's the word? You can deactivate minds. It's hard. It's a lot of work, but it can be done. But in order to do so, you need to let go of your trauma backpack so that you or somebody else who loves you or somebody else who's trying to love you, even if that's yourself, doesn't detonate themselves on a mind because you're holding on to your trauma so much. So I hope this message finds you well. It's rough out there, y'all. It's okay. You gonna be okay. You gonna be all right. We gonna do this. We gonna make it through. You fucking got this. And if nobody else believes in you, I do. Auntie Tavia believes in you. So I hope this message trains you well. And the light in me honors and sees the light in you. And namaste.